Well, I'm not a typical player of shoot 'em up games, so playing Signy was quite challenging for me, but I didn't give up and after some time I somehow managed to beat it. Now the question is, is this game worth your time and money? Signy Agas Blazing is a shoot 'em up action game where you will face hordes of enemies, each shooting everything you've got at you. The genre has set a bit of a dry spell in the modern times due to the complexity and difficulty of titles like this, often putting newcomers off. The more that's happening on screen, the more overwhelming it becomes for new players. In Signia, you control a high-tech fighter jet battling against an alien race and maneuvering through an overwhelming number of bullets flying your way. Between stages, you will encounter cinematic cutscenes that tell the game's story. Earth has become corrupted and unhabitable, so humanity set its sight on another planet, Signy Prime. The planet was initially abandoned, with the remains of giant corpses and inactive alien robots scattered across its surface. Researching all these alien relics gave humanity access to new knowledge and new power sources. After a century of peace, something triggered these alien machines to reactivate. The story is told from perspective of heroine, fighter pilot, who also narrates certain parts. The cutscenes are cinematic and provides a brief explanation of the plot. In summary, humanity driven by greed has destroyed Earth and is now on the path to doing the same to another planet, but as Earth was once our home, there is no guarantee that other planets don't belong to other species. It was tough, I started on medium difficulty which has normal mode here, and I couldn't even get through 30% of the first map. After a few attempts I had to humble myself and switch to easy mode. That's when I started to realize how these games should be played. You need to start on easy to get a feel for the movement, how to dodge bullets and how to improve overall. One of the nicest features is that all progress is saved to your main profile, so the upgrades you unlock while playing on easy are still available when you switch to medium or hard difficulty. There is no achievements for beating the game or level without upgrades on higher difficulties as even the developers knew it'd be nearly impossible. So although I felt frustrated at first, I began to understand the mechanics of shoe maps. I can't compare Signy to other games in general since I'm not a seasoned player, but I can see the appeal. In recent years, we've seen a new subgenre like Vampire Survivors, which I personally call it Bullet Heaven, reversing the mechanics of the classic Bullet Hell games. At first, everything felt like pure chaos. After setting a stage, you are greeted by a cinematic with catchy music, which I'm not sure I can play on YouTube. But soon after the action begins, you are thrown into a massive battle with hordes of enemies in chaos. For someone not used to this kind of games, it can feel overwhelming, bullets are flying everywhere, and you will need to master the arts of dodging and attacking while staying alive. On easy mode, you are given 3 extra life, which helps push forward. But even then, the sheer number of things happening on the screen makes it hard to avoid getting hit. Your Jet has two main energy bars, each with six slots. The blue bar represents your shield, protecting you from damage. Without a shield, you can only take two more hits before being destroyed. The orange bar is for weapon energy. From the start, your jet has three types of weapons. Standard guns for meet our enemies, ground bombs to take out surface units, and homing missile that requires weapon energy. You can also convert your shield energy into weapon energy if needed, which can be lifesaver in tough situations. And you can also transfer this weapon energy into shield bomb. As you improve and become more familiar with the game, it gets easier, especially once you've unlocked upgrades. This game also features a classic co op mode allowing you and friend to team up. There are even achievements for co op play, making it a fun experience to enjoy with someone else. Beating stages unlock upgrades for your jet, you can acquire different attacks pattern and assign them to your weapon slots. However, to use an attack pattern assigned to the fifth slot, you will need to gather enough orange weapon energy. You can also purchase drones to increase your firepower. I recommend an emblic homing mode for the drones, as they automatically target nearby enemies and with further upgrades can also attack ground units. More attacks mean faster enemy takedowns. In co-op mode, you can upgrade both jets separately, sending credits to improve each player's ship. The game visuals are stunning, especially considering its limited budget. The developers aimed to create a modern shoot em up with impressive graphics, and I think they succeed. However, with all the chaos on the screen, you might not notice some frame drops, especially in intense sections. Lowering the resolution and turning off anti-aliasing helped me keep the game running smoothly. The game's world is quite grey, but this fits the overall design and atmosphere. In fact, Signy enemies were inspired by War of the Worlds movie, which I found interesting after watching some behind-the-scenes videos from Konami. You can watch them too on Konami channel. 
the soundtrack is fantastic, featuring a full orchestrated score that enchants the game's intensity. Explosions and gunfire are satisfying with a solid bass that adds to the experience. The sounds of your blaster pulsing thousands of shots per minute were surprisingly not annoying even after hours of play. I was a bit surprised to see that in the audio setting tab you can even use an equalizer to enhance your audio experience, but the graphic tab only offers very basic settings. The game should also include AMD FSR technology to help it run better on the lower end devices and handhelds. Signy, Algan's blazing is well optimized and the few minor hiccups didn't ruin the experience for me. The game lives up to its title. Once you unlock enough upgrades, you will be shooting everything you got at enemies in chaotic warzone. For someone like me who is not a shoot up player, the game was overwhelming at first, but if you push through, you will start to get the hang of it. On Steam, the game has at start mixed reviews, largely because it was released on Steam and quite shortly time later on Epic for free. However, now most players seem to enjoy it, and for fans of classic shoot 'em up, Signy delivers what it promises. In my opinion, Signy is a good game. There were moments of frustration, but I didn't give up, and eventually I adopted to the game's rhythm. If you are a fan of shoot 'em ups, you should definitely check out Signy All Guns Blazing. It's available on various platforms and runs great on Steam Deck. If you are interested in checking out the game for yourself, there is a link to the Steam page provided by the publisher in the description. I also encourage you to subscribe to my channel for more videos or on the new, lesser known and smaller titles that can often be even better than the big AAA or quadruple A games these days. See you later, have a nice day and thanks for watching. Bye.